Now let me tell you something. There's no legend quite like. The Legend of Boggy Creek. This is the 1972 docudrama that tells the tale of a hideous horror that might be misunderstood. Welcome to Bigfoot Week. Quick side note, I have my book Wild Man on Amazon right now on Kindle and paperback. So if you want a copy of Wild Man, Go to the link, which I shall leave in the description below, and uh, purchase a copy, and leave your thoughts in a review or just a rating on Goodreads or Amazon or wherever you feel comfortable. Uh, and if you don't want to leave your thoughts, that's fine. Just tell me in the comments if you've read the book or not. Yeah, just, uh, I'm so happy to have this book out. Uh, I loved writing it, and I can't wait to write my next book. Also, if you want a signed copy, just message me on Facebook. The book is going for $10 on Amazon, so I figured $15 for a signed book wouldn't be too much to ask. If it is, I'm sorry, but that's the price I'm sticking to. Uh, but if you want a signed copy, go to my Facebook fan page, which is also in the description below, and message me. So, yeah. The plot. I doubt you can find a lonelier, spookier place than down about Boggy Creek. Deep in the wilderness of Falk, Arkansas, a creature has been coming closer and closer to civilization. These are the tales of encounters the townsfolk had with said creature. What they scream at will make you scream. This film is cozy, yet unsettling. This balance is between the two to near perfection. The narration done by Vern Stearman, who also did the narration for The Town That Dreaded Sundown, The Dark, The Being, is well told. Vern shows enthusiasm as well as professionalism throughout the film. None of it feels out of the ordinary or character. His soothing voice paints a fitting picture of the creek as well as what the creature must be thinking. Speaking of the creature dubbed the Falk Monster, thanks to this new 4K Blu-ray restoration, I can see more detail than I ever had hoped for. The creature has long hair that hangs low. I never noticed that until I watched this new release. As for the coloration and picture quality, it is crisp and the best it'll probably ever look. We have the director, Charles B. Pierce's daughter, Pamela Pierce Barkello, for that. She oversaw the whole production of this Blu-ray and even drove a great distance, something like 14 hours, to pick the first releases up. I've seen dozens of comments since my teenage years. As people scared as kids when living near or in the woods growing up, they feared the Falk monster and the movie The Legend of Boggy Creek. It became a driving staple. This movie really had an effect on people. In fact, every time I look into the woods and stare on, I am reminded of The Legend of Boggy Creek. It truly has made an impact for all that have viewed it, including myself. The fan base for this movie is huge. Devoted fans from around the world are out there. There are gift shops and historical bases dedicated to this film. The drive-in days were good to this motion picture. It made over $20 million to $25 million in its run. That's a hell of a lot of money, especially for back then. That's like $145 million adjusted in today's inflation. Keep in mind, this film cost around $100,000 to make. That's insane. I believe it was financed by truckers and even Charles himself. It was a miracle the film got made at all. Speaking of the film, 
Let's get into it. The film is amazing at telling creepy stories. However, while the acting is mediocre, due to the people who actually experienced the encounters portrayed were playing themselves, I still believed in the fear. There really isn't a cast of characters, per se. More like characters and segments. It's an anthology telling about the same terror. In terms of editing, the film is pretty okay. There are some transition shots where they just have it zoomed in on a flashlight, which is creative but a bit distracting. I can forgive it though because the cinematography is gorgeous. There could have been a couple shots that were used more than once. If that's true, it's alright. They didn't have a lot to work with, and it just adds to the charm of the filmmaking for this particular picture. Near the end of the feature, it does feel a bit out of the ordinary when the creature makes its way closer to civilization, mainly because the wilderness setting is so appealing. I don't know, I guess the shots of the hospital with the zany 70s music playing took me out of it a bit. It shows that it's a product of its time, rather than having that old timeless feel. The gore, the effects. There's no gore, some dead animals and disturbing descriptions, but no actual on-screen bloodshed. This was rated G, and in that it is highly effective in terms of execution and eeriness. Not so much in the gross-outs department. The motion picture soundtrack, the songs have their own cult following by this point. Lonely cry and hey Travis Crabtree are certainly catchy tunes. I catch myself singing them every now and then. In terms of a score, it also is very creepy. It's sometimes brash and sometimes subtle. It's a nice balance, like the rest of this film. It's just a good balance of horror, suspense, and eeriness. The score never feels out of place. It fits right along the creepy setting and appropriate narration. I cannot wait for the official soundtrack to be released. This is a cult classic and for good reason. The presentation both in Blu-ray and the film itself is fantastic. You never really are the same after watching this movie, especially at a younger age. It will always be remembered for its creepy nature, cheesy songs, intense music, and overall crisp Blu-ray release. Long live his lonely cry. I'm gonna do the fat monster scream, ready? Overall, I give The Legend of Boggy Creek a 3.5 out of 5. Thank you all for watching, and I am Brian Gatto, the horror show host. Make sure to like, comment on, as well as share this video. Like my Facebook fan page and support me on Patreon. Even a dollar a month will help keep this channel going on strong, and I'd greatly appreciate it. Also, hit that notification bell, and as always, subscribe. Stay tuned for day two of Bigfoot Week.